Welcome to our course on Mastering Zotero. Here's what I'll cover in this video. You can use the links next to each item to jump right to the appropriate section. I'll talk about who this course is for, an overview of the five units in the course, things that you should already know about using Zotero, and how to import sample data that you can use for the course. This course is designed to build on the basics of using Zotero as a tool for managing citations in your assignments and your writing. It's intended to help you go next level, organizing your learning and research work using Zotero as a partner. This material is intended for upper level undergraduate students, graduate students, and faculty members, but really anybody who regularly does searching and reading for research purposes and just wants to stay organized. My focus for this course will be on using the free open source Zotero software to support your learning and research. Unit one does cover some of Zotero's core features because it's about how the software can be used to organize and manage your Zotero library using collections, tags, and related items. The module also covers a great add-on called Zutillo, which can make managing your library a little easier. In Unit 2, I dive deep into using Zotero to help you with your reading and your annotation. I show you ways that you can use Zotero notes to support organized and efficient note-taking, and how an add-on called Zotfile can help you pull together annotations from PDF files, including text you've highlighted. I'll even show you how you can do this all using a tablet, like an iPad. Unit 3 covers Zotero as a research and workflow support tool. I'll cover how you can use Zotero to track your search strategies and your research activity, how to use Zotero to manage your research workflow, and how to keep on top of new articles from your favorite journals. The fourth unit in this course is all about collaboration, using the online Zotero.org resource to collaborate with colleagues on research, or just to make your Zotero library visible as a free online resource for others. And in the fifth and final unit for this course, I'll cover a number of pro tips and specialized topics for Zotero, how to link the software directly to a university library catalog, how to keep track of your own publications, how to use Zotero with Wikipedia to create perfect citations, and more. You do not have to complete every unit in this course or even complete it in order. Feel free to jump around and take what you need. The entire course is also available under a Creative Commons attribution license, so that means it's free for you to share, reuse, and remix as long as you acknowledge the creators of the material you're reusing. To make the best use of this course, you should already be familiar with the basics of working with Zotero. This includes how to install the software, how to import items such as journal articles, web pages, or books into Zotero, how to edit item information to ensure it's correct, how to create and insert citations into Microsoft Word, Google Docs, and other writing tools. If Zotero is brand new to you, there are many online resources to help get you started. I recommend our online guide to Zotero or the excellent Mastering Zotero guide on GitHub. If you want to follow along with me as I demonstrate things, you just need a copy of Zotero's desktop software, which is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. You should also have access to the internet. The course is built using a sample Zotero library, pre-filled with citations for articles, books, and other items that I use to demonstrate features and techniques. I've made the content of this library free for you to import into your own Zotero software, but it's not required for you to enjoy the course. If you'd like to use this library data, here's how you can set it up. The data is bundled into a zip file that you can download from this link or from the description and place in your downloads folder. Once you have it, you need to locate and unzip the file. To do this on Windows 10, just right-click the file and select Extract All. On a Mac, you can use the built-in archive utility. Right-click on the file and select Open With Archive Utility. In either case, you'll end up with a new folder inside your Downloads folder called Sample Zotero Data. Now we move to Zotero. From the File menu, choose Import. Zotero will ask where you'd like to import from, but there's only one option, so you just need to click Continue. Next, Zotero will open a dialog box where you can select the file that you'll be importing from. Navigate to your Downloads folder and to the Sample Zotero Data subfolder. Select Sample Zotero Data.rdf and click Open. Zotero will ask you if you'd like to create a sub collection for the imported data. If your Zotero software is brand new and you have nothing in it, you may not need to do this, but if you have existing articles and things in your copy of Zotero, this might help keep things clean and organized. 
I'm going to check that off and click continue. That's it. Zotero will import all of the collections and items you need for the course, and you can now follow along with all of the examples I use. Click done to get out of the import wizard. Now, all of the Zotero library items in the course are tagged as Zotero course so that you can easily locate them and delete them once the course is finished. Or you can select all of the collections related to the course, right click and choose delete collections and items. That's it. You're now ready to move ahead with our Mastering Zotero course material. You can begin with Unit 1 or jump to any part of the course you're interested in. See you there.